Okay, this is going to be the work energy theorem analogy that I like to use. So the work energy theorem is the net work done on an object equal to the change in that object's kinetic energy. And so let's use an example where instead of energy, we use money, which means that work is the transfer of money. So to do positive work, um, means to transfer money. To do negative work, means to receive money. Okay, it's also important to think about this from the other person's perspective. So if positive work is done on you, it means that you gained money. If negative work is done on you, it means that you gave away money. So I'll just write that here. So to do positive work means to transfer energy. So if positive, if positive work is done on you, you gain money. If negative work means to receive money, if negative work is done on you, it means you lost money, you gave away money. So if we're in a greedy capitalistic society, we want lots of work, right? Work means if people give us work, right? If people do work on us, we get a lot of money. So the more work people do on us, the richer we get, okay? So let's see how this looks. Say I have three people, person A, B, and C. Person C has zero dollars, person B has, let's say, two dollars, person A has four dollars. This is how they start. Let's say person A gives person B two dollars. How generous. So they do, right, two dollars or two jewels of positive work on B, right? So positive work has been done on B by A. Person B will give $2 to person C, right? So they do positive work on C. So positive work is done on C. Alrighty, so now in the end, again, this is a conservation of energy slash conservation of money principle now. If person A started out with $4 and they give two away, right? Those $2 couldn't have come from thin air. They had to use their own money or their own energy. So person A is down to $2 now. Person B gained $2, but they also gave up $2. So they actually had no change in their money when all is said and done. So they're at $2. Person C went from $0 and they gained 2 so they're at $2. And now if I do the change, the change in money, right, which is final minus initial, person A lost $2, so negative $2. Person B, no change, and person C, gain $2. And here's how the work energy theorem makes so much sense. The work energy theorem just says that the net work is the change in kinetic energy, and we just think about kinetic energy as regular old energy, right? And we say, well, how much energy was transferred to person B when all was said and done? It's like, well, it actually came out that, well, A gave 2, but B gave 2, so there was like no, no net transfer. Okay. If there was no net transfer, how much should B's pocketbook have changed? Well, it shouldn't have changed, right? B gave away money, but B got money they canceled out. That's exactly what we see here. This is the zero change in energy, zero change in dollars. Why? Because there was no net transfer to B. For person C, okay, positive work was done on C. Work makes them like more wealthy, right? That means B gave $2 to C. And now if I said, C, we gave you $2. How much more money do you have than you did before? $2, right? Makes so much sense. And this is how to think about the work energy theorem in terms of this analogy.